something we're making for the Americans. It's called a ghetto blaster. Secret and hidden gun systems date back a long way. Hiding and smuggling guns in mundane objects is a concept as old as guns themselves. And disguising guns as everyday items has equally been around for hundreds of years, gaining popularity in the 1800s. Gun rings, firing cigarette boxes, and especially gun canes were not uncommon weapons, and they often turn up at antique markets. But these weapons were mostly one-offs made by skilled gunsmiths. However, in the 20th century, governments would contract firearms companies to build more dedicated and reliable devices for use by growing special and clandestine forces. Accurate up to 30 yards. Though in the movies these weapons are extremely exaggerated, their use grew during World War II amongst special and resistance forces. Weapons like the Stinger pen gun fired a 22 short round. The OSS pistol glove, well known for being featured in the film Inglorious Bastards, fired a 38 special cartridge using a trigger which fired when the user punched their hand into a target. The World War II British Sten gun is sometimes overlooked for its basic design, but it could be broken down into parts resembling basic tools or parts a tradesman might carry. Resistance fighters in Europe found them well suited for hiding or smuggling. The Cold War would see the greatest increase in imaginative weapons. James Bond gadgets, no matter how silly, were frequently experimented with by real secret services the world over. The most famous secret weapons used during the Cold War were perhaps briefcase guns, such as the H&K operational briefcase. The first model was fairly basic. The hand could enter the back of the bag and operate the gun like normal. A later improved model allowed the submachine gun to be fired from the grip of the briefcase. This meant it needed to be fired pressed against the body to manage recoil. It would be fired similar to this fictitious example from the Kingsman, though usually in the horizontal plane. The Military Armament Corporation further developed a briefcase gun that included a silencer, making it a better assassination tool, but without sights they were needed to be used at close range. Briefcase guns cleverly hid their muzzles behind a business card. The Soviets also had a briefcase gun containing an AKS-74. This style of briefcase gun was designed to be a less conspicuous gun for bodyguards, used defensively broken free from the case before use. Camera guns were also popular throughout the Cold War. Guns could be fired from within a camera and aimed. Guns could also be easily hidden within the large cameras of the time. As ridiculous as some disguised weapons may seem on TV, many of these weapons do or have existed, at least as prototypes. Assassinations were common in the 1960s. The CIA, for example, spent millions inventing ways to assassinate Fidel Castro. Ideas ranged from poison milkshakes to exploding cigars. Alright, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching this little brief on hidden firearms. This is an inexhaustible subject, so if you want to add anything, please do so in the comment section, and we'll see you next time. I'm awfully sorry to leave you, but I have to get off.